All right, guys. I have been waiting for this unboxing. Hot Toys, The Dark Knight, Anne Hathaway, Catwoman. We're ready to unbox it, and we're gonna throw her on the on the, uh, the bat cycle next. That's right, guys. Back at it again. Another Hot Toys unboxing, brand new. The Dark Knight, Catwoman. You know where we're gonna put her. We're putting her on the bat. Uh, call it whatever the bat cycle, bat pod, whatever. We're gonna put her on that, and uh, we're gonna unbox. We're gonna unbox it again with a new technique. We tried the over the head camera, right? Now I'm gonna try this sort of neck, neck thing, right? And we're gonna see how that looks. I don't know how it'll look. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. Hopefully it looks good. Hopefully you like that version of how we do it. Uh, I have no idea, but uh, we're gonna give it a whirl. All right, so, and I'll take you with me as we do this. We're gonna just, actually before we put that on, let's unbox it and get it a little bit to the point now. Here it is, uh, MMS, uh, 62, MMS 627 Catwoman, The Dark Knight. Again, a lot of people will say, do you keep your shippers? Yes, I keep all my shippers. Um, whether I put them in the case that sits behind you or not, uh, I just tend to always keep them. I think it's good for resale. If you ever resell these figures or anything like that, I keep everything that it comes with, um, you know, all the way down to uh, the plastic that comes on the outside of it. This one has been on order for quite a while. And uh, she has been out before. I think there was another one. But here it is. Very simplistic. You know, great box. You know, a little embossing there. Trilogy. Catwoman. Ooh, let's see. Let's open this up. Again, nice sleeve. This is kind of done the, the new way that sort of has the, the box open to it. Um, and like I said, I'll get it to a certain point and then we'll put that new new uh, camera neck piece on and see how we get. This very similar unboxing to how we did, uh, or how the, um, uh, the Padme was done. All right. And here we go again, not gonna use the base. Let's put this unit on and see how it goes, uh, how we film. So. It's got a magnetic holster there, and it just fits around your neck, and it's kind of just like this. So that's what it is. Magnetic base there. I think we'll try to stand up and do it. And let's switch to it, guys, and see how it goes. All right, so here we are. Hopefully you're liking it. Now remember, we're putting this on the bat cycle, so not going to really use any of this but you know very cool it's got the chains nice gravel um, almost like you know when she takes batman to bane type thing so very very cool if i ever put her by herself i think i'll use that but not what we're gonna do again top piece over there and here we go so first off you get a little batman cow which is like halfway cut, you know. Again, really representing that scene. Uh, obviously, we're not gonna use that. Gun, more hands. Uh, there's an extra grip for your hands there. And here we go. Now, obviously, we're just gonna use the figure. And we take the plastic off. Let's take that off, and here we go. Um, interesting, interesting material, you know, it does have some kind of, I wouldn't say rooted hair, but it does have hair to it, which I don't know if people were expecting that or not. Again, nice suit, uh, you can see in the joints, the suit kind of, yeah. I mean, it's cool. So again, there is a really good of the face sculpt. Uh, 
Now these do look like they come off and it looks like they do, but we're gonna leave them on. There you go, very similar to how she broke in. I might, and I might leave them like right there when we put her on the bat cycle. Again, I'm not sure how this whole thing's gonna go as far as being bent and in place, how the suit, as you can see how it flexes, how is it gonna hold up over time? Uh, there you sort of see the heels. Very nicely done. You know, obviously you have to take the hands off to get rid of these. Same thing there. Again, easily just pop off and you're good to go. There's the belt, very loose belt. You know, utility belt, almost, it's almost like where it goes. So you do have a seam there. Interesting figure. I like that the hair holds back and there you can get a good look at the hair. I mean, it's not wool rooted or anything like that, guys, so keep that in mind. There you see some tailoring. Interesting how this will hold up. But uh, you know, our mindset is we're putting this on the bat cycle. So again, I think it's a great face sculpt. Um, hard to take the mask off to really get going, but it does look like it comes off. Let's put it on the bat cycle. I, I like the face sculpt. I think it's good. Perfect, I don't know about perfect, but I think it's really, really good. Nice suit, like the heels. I like the hair. Overall, I think well done. Let's put her on the cycle and see what we got. Now you can see, I chose to just leave the legs down because I didn't want a lot of bends in it. But uh, that's the pose I think I'm gonna just go with. Getting on the bat cycle ready to go type look. So there you go, guys. Uh, that's how I decided to pose it. It works for me. I didn't want a lot of the bends. I just couldn't get the bends where I felt comfortable with the head where I'd wanted it to see. And I just think her getting on it, kind of like up like that. I just, for me, I enjoy that look a little bit better. Tell me what you think about the whole neck thing. You like it, don't like it, like the above a little bit better. Um, hey. Uh, next one definitely would be opening up some Dark Knight and putting it into uh, the Batmobile, so the Tumblr. So that's probably the next one we'll do eventually. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. We'll catch you on the next one, guys.